Okay. So, I'm creating a video. I don't know. Time, time is going. Okay. Um, my girl asked me to share some stories with y'all. Some They're not stories, I guess, in some people's opinions. They're facts. They're truths. They're things about my own life. So, she said start from the beginning. And I don't know how far my beginning goes back that I can remember. I just remember some kind of silly things when I was younger. Kind of like my mom trying to turn me brown. Because we were part First Nation, and I guess, like me, she likes the tan better than the pale skin. But that's okay. I love Scottish people, and they're pretty pale. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I wrote down... The first two things as far as faith goes that I recall, and that's my grandmother Hayes. Her name was Leona, and I'm named after her, even though it's my middle name. Well, I think it might have been hers, too. I think hers was Elizabeth Leona, but she was called Leona, and mine's Goldie Leona. And I don't know if she was at what age she started being called Leona, but... She used to take care of me when I was little, at least up until the age of 12. Um, not like 24 hours a day, every day until the age of 12, but a whole bunch until the age of 12. She did a lot of influence and raising me. She was born in the 1800s, so I was born in 1961, and there's a pretty good age gap between us. My dad was 51 when I came along. Or maybe right after I came along, since we were both born in January. But the um, two names I wrote down was Billy Graham and Oral Roberts. And vaguely, but I do remember my grandmother having this black and white TV some point in time when I was pretty young. And I remember us watching those two people. And she would tell me stories and... I remember really young going over to her house to visit and her asking me if I wanted to hear about the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace or if I wanted to hear about um, Daniel in the lion's den. And I guess sometimes I must have said Daniel, but I don't really recall her even telling me that story, but I know she did because it was the two she would ask me about. But I always wanted to hear about the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. I loved the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. I loved that, oops, <laughs> apologies. I loved that their faith was so strong. I loved that they wouldn't bow down to any other God or any created God, but only to the Creator Himself, even to the point of being thrown in a fiery furnace. I remember a lot about that, but one thing I remember the most about that is that she told me that there was a window and that the king could look in that window and see the three boys in the furnace. And so... She used to tell me that when they looked in, when when he looked in the window, the king looked in the window, he saw the three Hebrew boys walking in that fiery furnace with one that was as the son of God. That's that's how she put it, and I believe that's how it's written. I have to check that. But anyway, um, so. My grandmother said that one who walked in that fiery furnace with them was Jesus, Yeshua. That's what she taught me. Now, maybe other people have different beliefs about that, but I heard a, a rabbi, a lady, teaching on it, and she said wherever it mentions an angel of the Lord, it means one of God's created angels. But whenever it says the angel of the Lord, that it means it was Jesus. It was literally 
the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, Jesus walking in his flesh on the earth amongst men and mankind. And so, yeah, even through a fiery furnace, he's able to walk with us and protect us. So, this is a short one, but this is my first one, and I'm trying it out. So, let's see how y'all like it, and uh, y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, and enjoy.